Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nick Foy, the founder of AskNickFoy.com and welcome to this Aveda tutorial series where I'm going to be sharing different tips related to the Aveda WordPress theme. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and dive into today's tutorial that I've got for you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update and edit the copyright area of a website. So down here and one of my example websites, you can see I wrote copyright 2018, Epic View Media LLC, golfpacksguys.com, all rights reserved, and then privacy policy, disclaimer, terms of service. So we've added in, you know, our different legal pages. So all this goes down here in what I like to call the copyright section or the legal section of your website. Usually it's at the very bottom below your footer. So right here is the footer of the website that's got these different menu items and then the copyright area. So to do that inside of the Aveda theme, you're gonna log into your WordPress account, go under Aveda, come down here to where it says theme options. Next, you're gonna scroll down here to the footer tab, go under footer content. And when you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, you're going to see this little box right here that says copyright text. So this is where we paste in, you know, all the different uh, links to different pages that you want. You can type in, you know, the copyright terms. So in this case, it says copyright 2012-2017 Aveda, all rights reserved, powered by, and then they've got a little link in here. So you can type in some HTML that can make the text turn into a link. So that's how we created these different links out here. So in order to you know make that link, you just use this code. It's the little uh, bracket and then the A space H ref equals, and then you paste in your link inside of quotation marks. Then you use the close bracket and then whatever words you want the link to say, go here and then you close it out with, you know, these brackets with a slash A. So this, is an example right here if you want to pause the screen write down this code if you're trying to link out you know to a copyright page or a terms of service page so here's the code you know with all these little brackets and letters and then you type your link in here you type in what you want the link to say right there and that's it and then if you don't want to link anything you don't have to worry about all this you can delete it out of here and you can just keep this stuff here and just customize it to whatever you want it to say so in this case, we'll go ahead and delete everything out. We'll type in, you know, copyright 2018. Then you can put a little, uh, kind of like a little divider box there. All rights reserved. And then this website is called free blog, uh, yeah, free blog training videos.com. So I can put that in there. And we'll get rid of this with a little box. So there we go. That's what my copyright section could look like. If I wanted to link to anything, then again, you would have used one of those coded HTML uh, sentences there to, to insert the link and the URL to that. So then go to save changes and that's it. You're done. If you want to center the copyright content, you can turn that on or off. If you want to have the copyright bar not show up or show up, it's got an on off toggle here. So you can decide if you even need to display a copyright bar here down at the bottom of your website. So those are the three settings there for the copyright section of your website. Again, Aveda, come down here to theme options, go under footer, footer content, scroll down here to the bottom and you'll find the little copyright settings.